go. I'm not missing the back end of my test car. This is the Smart 4-2. It's cute. It's cute. <laughs> it's such a crowd pleaser. That's a cool looking car. I've had to make the crowd part of the story. They're really nice. Made by Mercedes for the European market, they're now available in Canada. The Smart is not available in America. In order to get a tester, I had to borrow a software company's promotional car with all these graphics on it. But there'll be no shameless plug here, right? No. The Smart is big on small. It can be parked bumper to curb in tight spots. It's a go-kart. <laughs> it's a go-kart. It seats two. The interior is very flexible with movable gauges and lots of storage bins, but no cup holders. Oh, yeah. It's really roomy in here. A glass roof keeps it nice and airy. The deep dash can hold stuff like this uh, free software I found in the trunk. Speaking of which, the smart can swallow all of this toilet paper if you fill up the passenger driver's seat. Otherwise, it scores a three in the toilet paper test. Oh, I could drive a car this small. In the city, yes, but not for a long commute. Kind of rough. There's no cruise control either. In automatic mode, the six-speed transmission has a big delay between gears. Manual shift mode is smoother. The tiny three-cylinder engine is in the trunk. And this is diesel? Yep. Making 40 horsepower, it's the smallest direct injection diesel in the world. How many miles does it get? I got about 55 miles to the gallon. I wouldn't mind having one to drive around. There's talk of the Smart coming to the U.S. You want to trade for the van? Uh, think twice. Though it's surprisingly safe and the color can be changed with new body panels, freeway driving Americans would probably find it too rough for the $14,000 starting price. But for urban driving, it's a smart idea. Uh, one last thing, the name Smart actually means something. S is from Swatch, yes, the watch company, and M is from Mercedes. Tack those two letters onto art and you get smart. Want a more in-depth review of this car and many others? Go to the website, www.nwcn.com autos. That's Drive. I'm Tom Volk.